Hey everybody, Notorious here. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm excited to teach you one of my most unique and interesting friction hitch creations yet. This is an original hitch that I came up with called the Cocopelli hitch. There will be a brief discussion and then I'll teach you how to tie it. So let's get right to it. This is the Cocopelli hitch. Cocopelli, for those who are unaware, is a deity among the Hopi Indians or Native Americans. He is a deity that presides over agriculture and mostly fertility. He is also representative of the spirit of music and he is depicted as a humpbacked flute player with either feathers or antennae coming out of the top of his head. Here are two depictions of Coco Pelli. Hopefully you can see why I named this friction hitch after this deity. The resemblance is pretty clear, I think. I don't know, at least in my perspective, it looks a lot like Coco Pelli. And as someone who lived for a long time in the Southwest, specifically in Arizona, as most of you are already aware, I have always taken a liking to Coco Pelli. With all that out of the way, let's get to the part that most of you probably came for, the discussion of the hitch and the tying demonstration. So here is the hitch. This is the front. And if we look at the reverse, this is what it looks like. And so we can see very clearly that it provides one, two, three, four, five, wraps worth of friction. Although, if we look at the front, we can also include this portion here as either one wrap or perhaps even two wraps considering it's two strands. So this hitch provides quite a lot of friction compared to many of the other hitches that are mainstream and also many of my own friction hitches. And that can be hugely beneficial for a lot of different applications. And it looks complicated, but it's actually surprisingly simple to tie. Although simple for me may not be simple for you, but I promise that it's not as hard as it looks. I'll put it that way. So how about I prove it to you? In order to tie the Coco Pelli friction hitch, Begin by creating three wraps going upwards, starting behind the rope. So let's create those three wraps. And I'm gonna actually need a little more length here at the top. And now the next step is to take our top leg and cross it behind our bottom leg like that. All right, easy enough so far. Now we want to take this leg here and we want to bring it behind the other leg and above the rope, okay? So like, sort of like sewing. And we don't want to dress and set this too tightly while we're tying it and you'll see why in a minute you want to keep at least a little gap open here as you're tying it right now and then next create another little bite so we have essentially a backwards s or a really rounded z whatever you want to call it and now we can take our other leg here and bring it behind the rope through this opening and then behind the rope and out of this bite on the left. All right, that's it. That's all you have to do to tie the Coco Pelli hitch. The final stage here or step is to do some dressing and setting. 
And one of the only downsides of this friction hitch is that it is a little cumbersome and tedious to dress and set. So you'll see what I mean in a minute here. And you're also probably thinking, Notorious, that was not very simple. And you're probably right. This is a bit complex. Um, but for those of you seasoned hitch tires out there, you'll grab onto this time method pretty quickly. All right. I created this friction hitch all the way back in September of 2023. So yeah, that's the Coco Pelli hitch. This hitch is dear to my heart and I hope a lot of you will give it a try. It's really cool looking. And as you can see, it tends and grabs beautifully. And yeah, be sure to check out all of my other videos related to friction hitches. If this interests you, I have a massive library all about tying friction hitches, whether they be mainstream or one of my 85 plus personal and original creations. Also, be sure to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and as always, don't forget to check out my channel for more hitch how-tos, not tutorials, and climbing videos. Bye.